What up, guys? Uh, Mr. Bash here. Shameless plug in the video of this description box. Please, 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 if you're looking for cool mouse pads, cool custom play mats, custom sleeves, and you want to get a discount on it, also while for, for, uh, supporting your favorite MTG content creator, and moi, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Seriously, though, if you want to get a good, decent discount on some awesome mouse pads, play mats, custom deck sleeves, anything you want, uh, if you use the affiliate link below on my YouTube channel, you will get a 10% discount coupon, and it also hooks your boy up. Um, and gives me a little bit of money as well that goes back right directly into giveaways and stuff for this channel Which is what we're built on so if you are interested in getting a new playmat or custom sleeves or anything like that Please check out the description box below where it also contains our Facebook group and a link to my patreon as well That being said this is a live stream on Facebook these videos do go on YouTube So I just wanted to say that out loud so anybody watching might be like what are you talking about right now? That is, that is specifically what that's for. Uh, today we have a, this is box eight of eight, Ultimate Masters, two cases down, um, highest and lowest CMC battle, okay? Highest and lowest CMC will each get three collector packs of Forgotten Realmsies. Let's get my finger out of there. Oh, I'm trying to make a thumbnail here, guys. This is gonna be a thumbnail, it's cool. You're witnessing this live. Thumbnail right there, boom. Anyways, um, yeah, so top, highest and lowest CMC get the three collector packs each, and the box topper that's in this Ultimate Masters booster box is going to be randomized with everybody here on this table. Speaking of which, some people bought more than one spots to better increase their odds of getting that box topper. Joshua Fernelli was just in our last box battle. Dan McCone was in our last box battle. Joshua Dowd was in our last box battle. We also have another Dan McCone, Wayne Johnson, and a Mike Johnson. Here we go. Blessing beyond the packs, no pound town. Word on the street. Let's get it. I'm gonna cut these open. With the old trusty buck knife. And we're gonna randomize the packs. And get right on into this bad boy, okay? Last box was pretty, pretty nice. Bitter Blossom, Kozilek, Snapcaster, two foil rares for Rexian and Through the Breach. And then also a cigar up for the box topper. Let's go ahead and see what we can pull out of this one. All right, there's our box topper. Looks pretty minty mint. Very good, very good, yes. That goes in the back with all of our packs here. Bada bing. All right, here we go. Shuffling them up. And Kyle, if you're still in here, whoever's in here, if you want to tag Dan and Wayne and Mike and Joshua Dowd and Joshua Fernelli, that would be much appreciated. I just don't like people missing out on their packs. Sad that the foil breach is only six bucks. Yeah, honestly, me too, dude. I thought it would be more. I thought it was more actually at the time of the battle. We do a lot of crazy shuffling here. It's weird. but I like it to be as random as possible. I remember when I first started this channel, um, I would shuffle sometimes, sometimes I wouldn't, and people were like, dude, you gotta pick one. Ever since then, we shuffle every single box, unless, of course, you are uh, sponsoring a full booster box purchase, then, of course, we do not need to shuffle the packs. Here we go, here we go. All right, so we got Dan McCone, Wayne Johnson, Mike Johnson, Joshua Fornelli, and Joshua Dowd. Dan having two spots in this battle. Good luck, my friends. Lego. So random, 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 random. And then we go back one time, and then we go weird with it on the last one. So we'll go this, 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 and then boom. Boom, boom. Oh, three Venge Vines over here on the right. I don't know what exactly I just did there, but let's go, dude. Highest CMC of Mythics and Rares and Foil Mythics and Foil Rares is what is going to be the determining factor of who's going to have the high spot and low spot for those collector packs. And CMC is converted mana value, okay? 
Converted mana cost is what I meant to say. Mana value is the new terminology. I kind of incorporated it all in one. Here we go. Joshua Fornelli, you are up. Back one. I would love to end this uh, eight box series with another foil mythic. I believe our first foil mythic. Was it a mana vault? Was it a foil mana? No, it wasn't a mana vault. I'd have to double check. I forget what it was. We do have a rare, a Revel Arc for five CMC. Very good for the collector part aspect of this stream here. God, what was that foil mythic, dude? I am tripping right now about it. It was the vault? Was it the vault? That's crazy. It, w it was the vault, I think, now that you, you mention it. It was the vault. All right, here we go. Pack number two for Mr. Fornelli. It is rare. Gadok Teague for two, putting you at seven CMC. And an Eternal Witness, very nice, very nice value card. Okay, Kodama's Reach, Defy Gravity, Spark Spitter, Martyr Souls. A lot of very good cards in this set. Over time, I still think there's gonna be a lot of price value increase on this set. Yeah, I pulled the non-foil, that's right. And I didn't even slow roll that one. Good job, Bash. Rare, it is a, ooh, it's a land. Is this dude going for the low spot right now on you? Is he gonna snipe the low spot? Oh man. Last pack for your finale, dude. You are at uh, six CMC. Was it seven took it last time? Dan got it with seven. Unfortunately, not today. That brings you to 14 CMC. Woodfall Primus. Primus. All Hunger. Artesian of Kozilek. Gold Steed. Yes. Oh, man. That's going to bring you to 14, buddy. Joshua Fernelli. You got the box topper at the last one, so don't try to beat yourself up too hard. 8 0, putting you at 8. 2 is 10. 15. Sorry, you got 15, not 14. Sorry, buddy. 15. Joshua. You're starting us off with a medium-sized level of a bar, okay? It's not too high, it's not too low, it's just right. It's just like the porridge, okay? It's just like the perfect temperatured porridge. Dan McCone, one of your two spots in this battle. Here we go. Sick low snipes, baby. What up, Nick Blackhawk? Rare. Seize the day for four, very nice. I mean, you can win with the 17. I spoke too soon, yeah. Yeah, dude, dude, anything is possible in these battles. That's what makes them so adrenaline rush feeling and epic, for sure. For sure. Gamble, like I just said, what are we doing here, folks? Putting you at five CMC. Putting you at five CMC. Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. I know we're really hoping for that box topper too. I know we are. Rare foil, Vexing Devil for one. Oh, shoot, Nourishing Shoal. I forgot that was the foil rare. Nice, buddy. There's two. That is a very fitting card. Yeah, it was, it was a very nice segue. I was planning that. <laughs> Can we get a mythic for the boy? Can we get a mythic for Mr. Dan? Let's go, dude. Last pack magic. Psych, you have four more after this. <gasps> Yo, yes, dude. Oh my God, I was not expecting that. That's such a valuable hit right now in this set. Phyrexian Altar for three. Nice job, man. I want to see a cavern in this battle. Bro, that is such an awesome hit, bro. Nice. Three, five, six, a seven, and 11 CMC is what we're going to put you at. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to see that foil, uh, or not foil, uh, Phyrexian Tower, man. That is absolutely epic, dude. That card has been going up in price for the past two years, bro. It is seeing, oh my God, I'm so hyped for you right now. Such a good card, such a great card. You are now in the low spot with 11 as well, Dan. Joshua Dowd, let's go, bub. Bub, bub, what am I, freaking Wolverine from X-Men? Come on, 
Come on, bub. Get over here. Whatever, dude. Oh, man. Here we go. Pack number one for you, Joshua Dowd. Foil common. And we got a seismic assault. All right. That's 3CMC. Very nice. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Pack number one. It's kind of like, but hey, 3CMC. We don't know what kind of direction we're going to go in with a pack like that. Could be low. Could be high. Could be say goodbye. I don't know. Read a lot of Dr. Seuss books, if you're wondering, by the way, when I was younger. Ooh, is this a Carnicio? Babuski? Ah! <laughs> Yo! There she is, baby! There she is! My girl! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Snapcaster and the Lily and the Bitter Blossom all in one night? Talk to me, dirty girl! Woo! There she is, baby daddy. Oh, baby. My future baby mama. Oh, man. Talk it to me. That's what we're talking about here. Those are the cards we want to see, man. Hell yeah. Joshua Dow just coming in with that straight GMO Spitfire gas to the face. Oh, Emmy. Yo, Emmy Miggy, what's going on? All right, that was a hot pack. That was a hot pack. That's also putting you at 6 CMC. Let's go. Dude, these guys aren't even here. I, I know, I guess I didn't give a formal, I always do this, didn't give a formal date and time on this live stream, but we went for it. Bridge from below. Boop. Three again. That's nine. Three, three, three. Wow. Nine. Dan, this dude might be getting lower spot than you unless he pulls some high CMC right here. Which I think he's going to. Let's go. Uncommon Apprentice Necromancer. Bombing enemies! The quadruple, triple threat? Wait, what? Three, 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 three! That puts you at 12. What a freaking... Wow. You don't see that every day. I've never, I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, three plus three plus three plus three is four. So there we go. <laughs> nice hit, Joshua Dowd. Oh my God, no daily boo boo yeah yeah. Okay, here we go. That was awesome. That was awesome. Twelve is greater than eleven. Yeah, Dan, you are still in the low spot, bro. Oh shit. Oh, and you're up again, Dan. You're up again. We pulled one mythic. That's Tron math. <laughs> three plus three plus three plus three is four. Let's go. <laughs> Dan is up again with a foil common. Time to take the high spot. Mm, so good. <laughs> it's a freaking desolate lighthouse. Yikes. Not buenas, kids. Not buenas. One, two, seven. Come on, Dan. Step it up. That was trying to... The, step it up. Okay, we're done here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Step it up, bro. You got to step it up, Dan. Come on. Dio. What up, Mike? It's a common. And Tomb, uh, one CMC. It's actually got some value. But uh, doesn't look like we're trying to reach for the skies here. Not the tower, says Richly. <laughs> yeah, dude, no, for real. That's actually uh, some dog water if I've ever seen one. With salt in it, dude. What? You know, dog water, is, if it isn't bad enough, you just throw a bunch of salt in it. And then drink that. Talk to me. Talk to me after that one. Tell me how that one tastes. I actually had to drink salt water for hydration purposes, but I thought salt, like dehydrated, I don't know, it was weird. I sweat too much, and I guess when you sweat, it uses up your salt in your body or something like that. I don't know, whatever, don't quote me on it. Hey, dick to the time, for that eight. Now that brings you all the way up to a whopping seven. I'm sorry, nine, dude. Yeah, Tron math, holy crap. Nine CMC, bro, if we can get an Emracule in this, oh my God. 
Okay, so I'll take the lower spot. I, I don't know, man. Now you're at nine. Now, now, I mean, do you shoot? Do you shoot for the stars here? Paul can math. Your salt is needed to retain more. There we go. That, okay, I was getting somewhere. <laughs> it doesn't taste good is the moral of my story there. Salt and water is horrible. And uh, I don't even... <laughs> I don't even remember what I was talking about now. But here we go. Oh, reanimate. Okay, so you got 10 CFC now. You went from 11 to 10. Okay. Little little bit of value there. Nothing absolutely crazy. <laughs> uh, this is... I'm having a lot. Way too much fun with this. This is awesome. So you... <laughs> You got one plus eight is nine plus one is ten. Shut up. Um, so ten is now the new official last lower spot. I can't even talk right now. You are still in the last spot there, Dan, with ten. Wayne Johnson coming in from the below the deck background. I Okay, moving on. Here we go. Pack number one for you, Wayne. Good luck to you, buddy. Appreciate everybody's support here tonight. Uh, this has been way too much fun. Again, this is going to be on YouTube. Be sure to click the link in the description box. Check out yourplaymat.com. Use that affiliate link. It supports me, and it gives you a 10% discount on your whole order. So, boom. Pack number one for you, Wayne Johnson, is going to be an engineered explosives to the face, which is actually zero CMC. That X counts for El Zilcho. So now if you get, like, another land and then another land and then hit an Emracula, you can pull out your own hair for me, okay? That'd be nuts, dude. Don't please tell me I didn't just predict that. Engineered explosives for pack one for zero CMC. Dan, is this dude gonna get the low spot? Lego, he say. Lego. Foil rare. <whistles> Pattern of rebirth for four. Okay, that's a sign for the right uh, sign in the right direction, there, buddy. Uh, wait a minute. Now we just took a step backwards. Thought we were getting somewhere, but we took a step backwards. Four CMC. Four CMC. I don't know, Dan. I'd be on the edge of my seat clenching right now, bro. With a teardrop coming out my eye right now, buddy. Wayne might be getting the low spot here. He wants a cavern? Let's give him a cavern. Let's give him a mana vault, too, while we're at it. Let's just go home, out swinging. Called the second land there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rare. It is a containment priest. That's going to put you at six. Six CMC. We're moving into the last pack there. Wayne Johnson, let's go! Oh boy, keep it low. Keep it low, Dan. Is you going to be be that boy to Wayne Johnson here? Is that an unfortunate happening here, buddy? Let's go. Come on, last pack magic for you, Wayne. Can we see some magic happen here tonight? It is a common. Rude Halo for two? Is that going to do it? Oh, dirty dog. It does. Oh, it brings you to eight CMC. Woo, doggy dog. Yo, Dan. I hope you're clenching, bro, because it already is too late. Wayne Johnson takes the low spot for two. Who's in the lead? I, two, four, eight, eight CMC. Oh my damn, oh my goodness, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Wayne, you're in the low spot, buddy. Congrats for now. Who's in the high spot? Joshua Fornelli for 15? There's no way. There's no way that 15 is going to win it. Dan for 10, 11. Joshua for 12, 10, and 8. Dude, dude, 15 is the high spot right now. Only one mythic right now. That is the Lily. I have never pulled a one mythic box. Never in my career. There is a mythic in here. And quite, very, quite, highly, possibly two mythics in here for Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson, somebody want to tag him so he can witness this glory? Um, please do so now or forever hold your peace. Pack one for Mike Johnson. Dude, this is stuff I live for, baby. Oh, that was a clean cut, baby. That was a clean cut. Mm. Talk to me. Let's go. Uncommon. Plumval. Get your ass in here. Oh, he is here. <laughs> okay, it's a rare. 
a legendary flagstones of Chakar. Dude, come on right now, dude. That is not what we want to see, bro. Come on. Vengeance Cavern in here. I did tag him. He is in here. Okay, good luck to you, Mike. I mean, there is some strong possibility for some major value right now. And there's three packs, potentially two mythics. There's for sure one in here. There's got to be. I've never pulled one mythic box. It's not happening tonight. Not on the last box of the eight mythic or the eight booster box series here. Come on. Come on. Uncommon. Wild Hunger. No, dude. <laughs> no, Noble Hierarch. Dude, no. Noble Hierarch, bro. Dude, is it, bro? <laughs> if I were to ever have pulled a one mythic box, it would totally happen to Mike Johnson on a live stream, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I'm freaking geeking out, dude. Pack, two more packs for you, Mike. You might get the low spot here, dude. No way. Um, here we go. Okay, I mean, there's gotta be a mythic here, dude. It's a mythic. All right, there's a mythic here. It is a dark depth for zero, dude. He might get the low spot. He might get the low freaking spot, dude. No way. Dark depths, bro. You got one more pack. You are at one CFC, bro. The, the, <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, this is it, man. Last pack. Last pack magic. There has been way too many freaking lands in here and only one of you, baby girl. It just so happened to fortunately be the last pack is you. Let's go. I am so I'm so weird, man. Come on. Come on. Enough with that bash. Let's go. Home. I'm with the show. Last pack magic for you, Mike Johnson. Let's go. No foil rare or mythic in this? Did we pull, we did pull a foil rare, okay. Is it possible that this is a below average box and we're not gonna get three mythics? Or is there a third mythic right behind door number? <gasps> there is another mythic in here, my good sir. And it is a Ulamog Infinite Geyer. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Wow. Nice hit, bro. Nice hit. Knocks you out of the low spot. Doesn't bring you to the high spot, but dude, you got two mythics. And that was a good hit right there, my friend. That is some value town. Hell yes. That's what we like to see. 11 CMC, 0, 1, 12 CMC. Joshua Fernelli took it with 15 CMC, and I was talking smack earlier. Oh my god. He is my commander. That is dope, dude. Hell yeah. So... Uh, we're going to go ahead and open the packs for the collectors here for the winners of that, which would be Wayne Johnson with eight and Joshua Fornelli with 15. Oh, man. What a clencher that was. That was insanity. Here we go. Joshua Fornelli. See what you get. Too bad it's not shiny. Yeah, I know. You love your shiny cards. Here we go, Joshua Fanelli. Bag of tricks, fog math. Do, 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 do. And a Borple Sword full art foil. That's gonna get a sleeve on it. That's getting a sleeve on it. Anybody running this? Anybody running this card? I actually put it in my, my night deck. Um, it's one of the cards that I got. Pretty cool. Mr. Wayne Johnson, what are we gonna get you, buddy? Lorcan Warlock Collector. Hey, Flame Skull Full Art Mythic. Oswald Fiddle Bander. There's pack one for you, Wayne. Nothing absolutely mind boggling. But a Full Art Mythic, man, those are cool. You don't see them all the time. Joshua Fornelli, let's go. And then we're rolling for the box toppy, bro. Then the box toppers coming around the town. Mental Ancient, Spear of Annihilation. And the Orb of Dragon Kind. Hold on here. 
Hmm. That's pretty cool. Interesting. It's actually the first time I read that card. I, uh, interesting. Lighthouse top. Dude, Kyle, that's a sin to say something like that in this chat. That is a sin. Um, I'm going to go with a Noble Hierarch Topper just because uh, it's another Vorpal Sword. Lots of Vorps. Adult Gold Dragon, a Red Dragon, and a Sphere of Annihilation Foil Full Art. Nice. Very good. I don't know the price of that sphere. These packs seem a little booty. Oh, yeah, my handling of the packs also seem booty. Nice. <laughs> Forgive me, Bash Father, I have sinned. It's gonna be a Vault or a Lily, okay. Long Rest, Song of Inspiration, Wish. Black Dragon, a Denda of the Bugbear. <laughs> Wait, what? Nadar Selfless Paladin. Meddling Mage Box Topper, shut up for James, dude. Oh, man. You know how many Force of Wills I pulled behind a meddling mage? That is my blessing and other people's curse. <laughs> White, Reckless Endeavor, True Polymorph, and what's going to be behind door number three? Evolving Wilds and an Adult Gold Dragon Foil Full Art. Very cool, very cool. Wayne Johnson, thank you guys again for participating in this. We are going to move forward now with seeing who's winning the box. Toppy. The box tapiskis, the tapiocas, the pudding of the toll show, right here. All right, so he says he can guess my password. Yeah, okay. Whatever, bro. I type way too fast for you, bro. I type way too fast. Oh, I got my own password wrong. <laughs> I'll somehow win this? <laughs> no. Look at it, I need it now. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. We have uh, Joshua Fornelli. Get that out of the way, thank you. Joshua Fornelli, who won it last time. Dan McCone, Joshua Dow, Dan McCone, Wayne Johnson and Mike Johnson. Last time we rolled a nine. We're gonna re-roll this bad boy. See what we get, and it is gonna be a, an eight. Wow, that's quite the difference, sweet. That's just how we roll here. Okay, eight times. That fresh mod here. <laughs> All right, so one, two, Dan. Dan, you have a 33.3333% chance of winning. Three, four, oh, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Mike Johnson wins it. Ah! Yikes, Dan, the man gets slapped in the back of the hand. Ooh. Dan, thank you, dude, so much for participating in this and sponsoring these packs, bro. Uh, I do appreciate you, buddy, um, for your crazy support in this box break series. Brother, I'm going to send something home with you, okay? But uh, just a reminder, Dan, or I'm sorry, Mike Johnson wins the box topper, but before that's all said and done, Dan, you spent a lot of money on this. You got some good cards. You definitely did. But I figured. Let's try. Let's see if we can pull you Demonic Tutor real quick. Promo one. Okay? My pay now says Mike. Dan, this is for you, brother. Shouts out to the squad. Okay, Dan. <laughs> Dan, there ain't no saving you, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mike Johnson, you're up. You are up. Let's go. It all comes down to this. One man, one city, one dream, one box tapper. Let's go, dude. Not sure that was worth the plastic it was wrapped in. Emmy, no! No, no, no! You don't get to say those words. Santa Ring? Pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, okay. You guys ready for this? Surface phenomenal. A little bit of... No, that's pretty good. That corner right there. A little bit of... Iffy there. Oh, 
<laughs> Emmy! What the heck? Oh, man. A Celestial Colonnade on the last box? I have to buy more. I have to buy more. There ain't no way I'm ending on that one. Hell no, I'm not ending on that one. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Dude, that's like... Kirby Puckett's baseball bat being corked, dog. That was a... You are ejected from the game, bro. You are ejected from the game. Sorry, buddy. Mike Johnson. Hey, you got this guy in dark depth, so... Sorry, I've got to be true to myself. It's what I was feeling. Yeah, you never want to lie about yourself, you know? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to package this all up. It uh, should be shipped out tomorrow evening. Um, but, yeah, guys, stay tuned. These will be posted on YouTube. I'll be doing a giveaway on Sunday night for everyone that's been commenting on my YouTube videos and all that jazz. Uh, pick a random video out of the week and pick a random comment from that video and somebody wins something. Sometimes it's a card, sometimes it's a pack, sometimes it's a promo pack. Uh, it could be anything. I've even given away cash before, so whatever it may be, that's a stipulation. Uh, you have to comment on my videos and if you want to be participated in all of them, um, try to comment on everyone because it's it, whatever video, it's random. Sometimes I pick the ones that have a lot of comments. Sometimes I will pick the ones that have four comments and 25% chance somebody will win. Cool, right? I know you have one. Give it up. Let me get a VIP. No. Nope. And the live stream is done. Appreciate you guys. Take it easy. Stay tuned. Stay groovy. Kyle Richley, good job with uh, communications on the moderator side. And uh, good luck with the tournament. And um, let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Peace out. Oh, <laughs>